Hi everyone, yeah, I'm Ollie um, from London Sport. So we're an active partnership, the equivalent of Endo's Me, but obviously based in London. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just share my screen. There we go. Hopefully we can all see that now. Yeah, perfect. Let's we'll put it into present mode. Cool, yep. So I'm going to run you through open sessions and get active. Um, so open sessions to begin with. Um, so open sessions is a, a platform that allows you to upload your physical activity sessions um, and post them onto a number of different activity finders, all completely free. There's no, no cost associated at all. Um, and this allows you the potential to access a much larger audience than you potentially are currently. Um, it also allows you to produce your, produce your admin time because it's, it's one, one website which you use um, and post your sessions. <clears throat> so there are a number of benefits, obviously, as I said, reach new audiences. Um, because you reach a number of different activity finders, you can reach people in different locations from one central site, which is really helpful. Um, as it says, you post your session once in one place um, and that's it. So it reduces your admin time and it's totally free. There's no charges, no subscription at all. And that, that won't be changing anytime soon. So I'm going to take you through onto the site in a second, but very simply, it's, it's a very simple site and it, there's only a few steps to run through. So you simply register for your account, you upload your sessions, which probably take five to 10 minutes per session. So not very long at all. And that's it. Your sessions are automatically published onto the relevant activity finders. So there's nothing for you to do once you've published it apart from hopefully wait for people to come and join your sessions. And I'll take you for a live example, but this is kind of how it looks. So you can see this, the picture in the center is an example of me posting a session on open sessions. You can then see that automatically this badminton session has um, been published to get active on the right hand side, but also badminton England's activity finder on the left hand side. So publishing it on open sessions, has meant it can reach multiple different activity finders and therefore reach these different audiences who are looking on these websites. And then finally, this is a, again, I'll take you through this in a second, but this is the Get Active Island White website activity finder, which, which I'll run through now. Um, this is where you'll find all of the sessions that you publish on open sessions automatically. So let me just exit out of that and go to open sessions. So this is open sessions. Um, so various, I think the aim for you in the last 15 minutes is potentially go on this site and register and have a look at it. Um, very simply, click register, fill a few details, and um, you'll be on the site. So what I'll do now is I'll move to, I've logged in on my account, um, and I've published in advance a few sessions. So what I will do is I'll run through in a minute, adding a session and show you essentially how easy it is and give some hints and tips on what makes a good session um, but just to show you how it works beforehand, here we have um, a published C Cafe session. You can see here. Um, this is a session taking place in Sandown in the Isle of Wight. Um, if I could just reach, sorry, the, the screen's got in the way up there. There we go. So now we're on the Get Active Isle of Wight activity finder and you can see that the C Cafe um, session has published automatically onto the Get Active site. This is a site that um, potential participants in, on the island would look at to find activities um, so they can search for a specific location if they wish. This is currently set to the whole island but you can zoom in to specific um, postcodes or areas of the island. Um, and you will find the sessions that are in within a vicinity. So if I click on the C Cafe session, you will see all the information that I've published on open sessions has automatically pulled through onto Get Active. So the picture uploaded, the cost that I've loaded, the information, the location, the instructions, and the timetable, and also the my information. This is all pretend information, but it's all there in, if you were to set up a real event. Um, and as a potential participant, you could simply click on the session you wish to book and click book now. 
And what that will do is that will take you back to the open sessions session site, if it loads, here we go. Where as a potential participant, again, you can see all the information again, um, and it gives you a booking link here. So if I, if I was living in the Isle of Wight and I wanted to come along and swim um, with the Sea Cafe, I could click book on here. That would take me to book with the, the provider um, and simply, and, and that's it, and that's, that's done. So you can see by uploading to open sessions, you can reach new audience through Get Active. Um, so let me go back to open sessions. Here we go. So as you can see, I've also uploaded a badminton um, training session here, which doesn't have a picture. It doesn't look particularly appealing there. If I go back to get active, again, we can see that the badminton training session has pulled through directly onto get active. Um, because I didn't upload a picture, it's used a generic picture. And I'll talk about pictures later on, but it has used a generic picture. Um, but again, it's just an example of uploading to open sessions very simply publish it straight onto get active site. But as it's a badminton session, there are other activity finders which are able to pick this up. So badminton England has an activity finder and we can see here that it's used a different picture, um, but the same session that I uploaded into open sessions has also been published on badminton England. So by publishing one session on open sessions, I've reached an audience from who are looking on get active but there may be a different audience who are looking specifically for badminton and they've gone to the Badminton England site and they found a session that way. So you're able to reach different audiences and potentially more audiences through the use of open sessions. And obviously that's our aim to reach, reach more participants. Cool. So let me go back to open sessions. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll so once we're, once we've registered onto open sessions, this is the home page. This is where you would arrive, and none of this would be here. It'd be an empty, empty page. Um, the first thing you will do when you register, and you'll be prompted to do this, is that you'll be asked to fill in your organisation information. So this is information about the overall organisation. So the name, the address, um, some contact details, and a description, and any social media information that you may have. This information is then used on the activity finders to provide potential participants with further information about your club. Um, so it's really important that you do fill this in so that people have the information to hand when they're looking to book onto a session. Um, if, you're, if you are providing live streaming classes, so classes at home using Zoom, for example, you do need to make sure you have the appropriate insurance, et cetera, in place, so tick the box, and then simply click the box, and that's that done. And if we go back to the home page, so once that's done, you'll be able to upload a session. So you'd simply click add new session, which is actually the only real thing you can do on open sessions. That, that's it's, it's set up simply to add sessions. So you click add session. And what you'll see is you've got a number of different tabs on the left. And each tab has a number of different fields to fill in. So you would simply go through each tab, filling in information until you've completed it. And then once you're ready to publish it, simply click publish and it automatically goes to get active. So let me take you through the C Cafe session, which I previously uploaded and use it as an example of adding a session if it wants to load. There we go. Okay, so it's taken a, taken a second now, but we're there. Um, so this is a session taking place in the Isle of Wight. So we've added a session title of C Cafe. What you'll see is as you go through each field that we've put some information which will hopefully help you to uh, input the best quality data you can. So for example, the session title, you want to make it clear what you're offering and potentially add a something else that makes it stand out so rather than putting for example yoga you'd put relaxing outdoor yoga for adults um so sea cafe we may want to put um ocean swimming with the sea cafe for example just to add a little bit extra to it so i'll just 
everything we're doing is trying to think of the participant in mind and what when they see it what would attract them to most come and take part in your session we would then add the activity types so you simply click on this drop down and you've got hundreds of different activities to choose from um, this is of course swimming but there's over 500 to choose from there so find the activity that's relevant to your session um, and then we have a session description so this is really important this is the first thing that people after the title and the picture this is the first thing that people will read so we need to be engaging and encourage people to want to come join our session so what we've put here was we've put an example um, description which is always there and also when you hover over the over the box you'll see a number a, a blue box pop up which gives you a number of different um, kind of nudges as to what is best to include so things like what to expect is it a gentle class um, are you learning a specific skill what to bring what to wear um, who is it for how much will it cost etc um, so if we can include all this information in a nicely um, put together paragraph or two that really entices the participant to come and join that would be fantastic and we also have um, emojis if you want to add a smiley face or um, emoji relevant to the sport so I've got a nice description here on the sea cafe which is already um, inputted and then we go down to the photo so again the photo is one of if not one of the most important aspects of uploading your um, session um, this is a really nice photo it's a photo of the actual sea cafe event taking place real participants um, and it gives you a sense of what it would actually be like on the day if you were to attend um, we ideally want to use photos of either someone playing the sport or someone at the location not necessarily playing but at the location but real real people who are have gone to take part in the in the session um, so for example we wouldn't want a picture of olympic swimmers here it would it wouldn't be relevant they're not taking part we want pictures of the actual participants um either at location or taking part so that you feel like you know what it's going to be like when you get there so choose a really nice photo upload that and that's next so again we can add some more information here for people to know so this is around things such as um if there are any, any covid measures that you still want to put in place to make people feel um that the session will be safer for them and particularly things like meeting points so if you're meeting in this case we're meeting at the world heart trust car park um ensure that you've got that information in here so that people know exactly where to go when it comes to the session then we have room to add in who's leading the session so i'll put myself as leading this session this is if you have a specific person who is running that session um, you want to be able to help the participant know who to look for when they attend the session um, then is the session coached yes or no in this case it's not coached it's a it's a turn up and swim as a community um, but if you have a coach session you can simply say yes and then information specific to the session so here i put the sea cafe team you might have a specific person again it might be the reception but some contact details for a potential participant to contact in advance if they wish to get some more information next we have the session location so you very simply type in a postcode or a uh, town name and it, this is using google maps so google maps will pick it up um, and we all know google maps works very well so there'll be no issues there um, once you've found the location you can very simply drag the red dots onto a specific location that you wish people to meet and it changes the location um, so that should be very simple we let people know it's indoors or outdoors so in this case obviously it's outdoors on the beach and then we can let people know what amenities to expect at location so in this in this example we're meeting at a car park so there'll be parking and there could be chain facilities showers and toilets for example that you can pick all of these if they're all relevant or none if none are relevant but again it helps the participant know what to expect when they turn up to the session next we go to who is your session for so this is letting people know if the session is the right session for them to attend so if it was a agenda specific session you can you can choose that there if there's a minimum or maximum age so if it's a 16 plus session so it's for kind of adults only then you can put that in there and simply type in the age if your session um, caters for specific um, disabilities or offers support to specific um, 
people, then you can you can select these. I.e., if you are running sessions that specifically support people with learning disabilities, you can click that. If you'd like someone to contact you in advance to check that if the disability they may have is suit, is 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 um, accessible to your activity, you can click this, meaning that they'd like you to contact in advance. And you can also choose which level um, the session is for. So if it's a purely beginner session, then you select beginner. In this case, the Sea Cafe is open for all levels of swimmers. We simply click suitable to all, so everyone knows that anyone can attend. Next, we go on to the cost. So if it's a free session, we simply leave it as it is, free. Um, if it's a paid session, we come here and we click paid. We let people know how they can pay, um, whether it's cash or card, or card only or cash only. We then have, um, in this case, it was £10 per month, I believe it was. Um, so we can put in monthly cost of £10. You can also add, if you have a different type, different um, different costs for um, concessions or students, you can add different costs in there so people are aware how much to expect to pay. If the first session is free, you can select yes. If it's not, if every session costs, then you can click no. Um, and you can let people know if they can pay online in advance um, by clicking yes or no here. In this field here, we can add a link to an external website for people to book. So you can't book directly for open sessions, but what you can do is add a link to your website um, where people may be able to book in advance. Um, if not, they'll just use your contact details you've already provided. But if you do have a, an online booking link, then please do add that in here. And then finally, is there capacity? So in this place, in, in this case, sorry, C Cafe, if there's no capacity, we, we want as many people as possible to attend. If you've had 20 people limit, then simply type in 20 there and it'll pull through. And finally, we come to the, the scheduling. So when is the session taking place? So if it's a one-off session, so it's just happening, for example, next Wednesday, I simply click on the calendar, select Wednesday 9th, and I choose a start time. So it's taking place at 10 o'clock and it's lasting for two hours. And that's a one-off session and that's fine. However, if it's taking place regularly, um, so in this case, the C, the C Cafe is taking place every Saturday, I click Saturday to select the first session. And by clicking this box here, it allows me to set a pattern for recurrence. So this is taking place weekly, every single week on a Saturday. So that's set up for every Saturday now. If it's every fortnight, you'd simply select two there. So we'll leave it as one. Or if it's daily or monthly, again, you can set that there. And then how long is it going to last for? So in this case, we want it to end after four weeks because it's just running throughout February. If it was running for longer, um, you can set a maximum of 50 recurrences before you need to um, update it. Or you can set a specific end date using the calendar again. So you've set your schedule up. You click Next. And it now shows me my schedule. So I've set this for every Saturday in February. Um, I'm happy with that. I click next. And this is the final page um, where we simply select. If we want to add a session in and just kind of return to finalize it later, we can click save and return later. But I'm happy with a session. I'm ready to go. I click save and publish. And that's the session set up there. So Ocean Swim with Sea Cafe is all set up, ready to go go back to my home page, you can see it there, it's all set up. Um, now automatically, this will pull through onto Get Active. It generally takes between 15 minutes to an hour for your sessions to pull through onto Get Active. Um, so if I can find too many tabs open here. Um, Oh, actually, so you can see here, it's pulled through in the space of 30 seconds, which is a really great, um, great example tonight. So it's pulled through instantly. So I've, I've clicked publish and instantly it's updated to new title um, with all the new information that I've uploaded into here. Um, so hopefully that you can see how quick it is um, at pulling through the information.
Um, as well as that on Get Active, if you go back to the home page, this is your Get Active Isle of Wight site. By clicking here, you will be able to find the Activity Finder. But there are also hints and tips and stories. I believe there's, we've got a story that was added a few days ago here, um, which is a really nice story about a local resident becoming active. Um, so this will be updated constantly. I think Sarah and the team will be keeping this updated um, as they go. Um, so this is your this is your kind of hub of activity um, and news and stories. Um, and open sessions is your place to upload. So hopefully I've, Sarah, please let me know if there's anything I need to add or I've missed, but hopefully that was a um, okay kind of run through and any questions I'm happy to take them.